This makeup is so light. It's almost like you're not wearing makeup. And at this point, why are you paying $30 for shit you can't see? <laughs> hey y'all, it's Sheree. What's up? Back with another video. How y'all doing? I'm not even sure what I'm going to title this video or what we'll end up talking about. But I do know that I have like a bunch of different products from Sephora and not from Sephora, just a bunch of different products that I want to try out. You know the Sephora VIB sale was a month ago and today is the last day to return the items to get my money back. So if y'all don't know, with Sephora, you have 30 days to make a return for full refund and from 31 days to 60 days you can return for store credit even though i shop at sephora a lot i personally prefer to put my money back on my card so i have not been wearing makeup and i haven't really tested out these makeup products so i need to test them out today to see if i'm going to keep them or return them that's not something i know beauty influencers disclose maybe they don't return it but i just i don't keep stuff around that I don't want. <laughs> um, I know like decluttering is popular. I just find that to be really wasteful, waste of money, waste of resources, waste of a lot. So that's not really my style. Um, so I'm going to try these stuff out and if they work, I keep them. If they don't work because of formulas, color matches, whatever, I return them. And that's just the true tea. If you don't know, you can return to Sephora. Anyway, let's get into this video. If you are new here and you've never seen my face, but you like my face because it's a cute one <laughs> definitely be sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up it goes such a long way to support my channel click the like button and save a life which is the life of my time here on YouTube and that's it so I've already prepped my skin I did use the very last of my Tula sunscreen I said in my favorites video that it's a favorite and it is like I'm so sad it's gone if you haven't seen my favorites video because y'all didn't watch it and it's okay it's okay, new content, y'all ain't sure about it, that's fine, but if you do want to know more about that sunscreen and other products that I am loving right now, including my bidet, like, I'm obsessed with my bidet, I want everyone to get a bidet, and I break down all the tea about that bidet in my, in my videos, so definitely check it out, um, and I think that's all the housekeeping. I'll be starting off with primer, I usually don't prime my face, because I forget, I'm trying to do better. This is the Fenty Beauty Mattifying Primer. I bought it during the Sephora sale in the fall. And I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know if primers do something or they don't do something. Sis, I have no idea. I just know that the gurus say we should use primer. Now I'm going to go in with a color corrector. This is the, this is, what a product, product is this? This is the Bright Fix from, from Fenty Beauty and everything will be linked down below. If you want to purchase something, it does help my channel. No pressure. I'm not pressuring you to buy anything, but if you're going to buy it anyway, click on the links I'm purchasing through my links really does support my channel. So yeah, this is the one from Fenty Beauty. I like color correcting because I have dark circles. I've had dark circles since second grade, okay? Okay. Life has been hard, but uh, my face has always had dark circles. It's hereditary. Like my brothers and sisters have dark circles too. So ain't nothing I can do about it, okay? So I'm gonna put it there under my eyes. There's also like, you know, little dark circles of acne and such. And I burn my face here, trying to get rid of this. Whew. Whole different topic, baby. I mean, honestly, I should put orange corrector all over my damn face, cause I'm a black woman. So that means we just get hyperpigmentation like nobody else. And I've used this a few times already, actually. And I think it's cute. If you use too much, I feel like don't go crazy with it. Um, even though it's sheer, I feel like it can sometimes like look orange and it can come through the foundation. So don't go crazy. I'm gonna just use my fan because I know nobody got time. So I'm gonna link this too. It's amazing. I use it to dry down my skincare. Amazing.
Y'all see how that just neutralizes the darkness in my face? I couldn't just go out like this. It's not blendable enough where it doesn't show up. Obviously it does, you can see the orange popping out, but it does neutralize the darkness on my face, which is what I wanted. So I'm going to keep her. So she's a yes. Now we're gonna go in to the foundation. So this is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear, which is supposed to be like the best spring and summer foundation. I picked this up during the, the most recent Sephora sale, the spring sale. And I got the color suede 510 suede C and that was too dark I'll put a picture it was giving dark I don't know what it is but the Sephora lights be lying bro like under the lights I felt I thought that was a perfect match but then I came home and it was looking like blackface it was giving menstrual show this is 495 suede W so we will see. It's a frosted packaging, so you're never really too sure, darling. Let's put it on the back of my hand. It looked good in the store. That, oh, I don't know. That looks a little light, but I also think I'm dark skinned. <laughs> you know what I tell people? Who be thinking they light skin? So their foundation be like 10 shades lighter. Their neck be looking like tar, and their face be looking like cream cheese. I have the opposite problem. I just know I'm chocolatey. So sometimes my foundations be looking hella red because I just know I'm a chocolate goddess, baby. And I'm definitely not light skin. Well, I'm not dark skin. I'm just in the middle. It's brown. You can't tell me I am not. I am not an ebony queen, darling. So this is my chest. But my chest is light, like you don't get no sun. But I think it's doing an okay job of matching my neck, which is a bit darker. But it's lightening up with the power of skincare, honey. It's not like super matte where my face looks dry, but it's also not dewy. I can't stand dewy. Like I'm too, I'm too fat to be looking greasy. Like it just triggers me when I look greasy. I don't know if it's my insecurity, but I don't like a dewy foundation. And I'm sweaty. Like I'm a sweaty ass bitch. Like I, I don't like it. I don't like that for me. So now I'm gonna go in with their concealer because I usually don't really match concealer and foundation. I mix and match just like hair care, but I just wanna try something new. So this is their Tinty Doll Ultra Wear Concealer. During the sale, the spring sale, I got the color 460 Suede W because that's what um, Andrea Renee uses and makeup guru, okay. So, but this I felt like was too close to my complexion. So then I went in and I also picked up 435 Bisque W. So let me show you what they look like. This video is going to be long, but hopefully y'all enjoy it. I just honestly, y'all don't know what to do on YouTube anymore. I don't want to keep drowning in my shower, but... Natural hair is the only, really, only thing I'm really good at. So I feel like I'm having a identity crisis, you know? Child, the ghetto. This is my foundation color. But this color is the 460. And then this color is 435. It's like this color. It's almost blending into my complexion. But this is actually like a true highlight. I'm going to put down the darker color first. So we can see... What it's looking like. I know the girls on TikTok be doing just here and then doing this. That's like the clean girl thing, but I'm old school. So I still do my triangle because that's what I was, yeah. That's what I came up doing and that's what I'm gonna continue to do. This one is fat just like me. Yeah, okay. She a thick one. See like, it's not giving much highlight for me. Like I want my highlight beaming, baby. Like, beam in. But you see what I'm saying? Like, I blended this out, 
and you can barely tell I highlighted. So if you're my complexion and you want a natural highlight, you can go in with this. I don't want to ignore the call, but I don't want to answer right now. I know we love a black girl luxury moment, but at the end of the day, I'm gonna save when I need to save because I don't feel the need to impress people that are broker than me. So that's just that on that. This color is way better. Ooh, this wine crooked, <laughs> crooked. I'm gonna return the 460 suede because I don't need her. I have so much concealer, but I love the formula. Like, I love this formula. That looks so, it just looks so buttery. Sometimes you just gotta pay a little to get a little. Because yesterday, I did a routine with Drugstore Concealer with e.l.f. And it was good. But it's just not buttery like this. You know, sometimes I think People buy like more high-end makeup because it makes them feel better about themselves. Like they feel like it's hands down better than drugstore concealer or drugstore products, which isn't the case. Drugstore isn't inherently bad and high-end isn't inherently good, right? But this concealer, y'all, is so buttery. Like yesterday, my under eyes were, I'm not gonna lie, my under eyes were looking kind of it cakey to me like when I looked at it but now I feel like my under eyes just look so buttery you know and I love that for me I love this concealer I think it's worth the money sometimes you just gotta treat yourself bitch <laughs> treat yourself I just gotta put me first Lucius you just gotta put me first cause this is just so good like if you've been thinking about it, y'all, just get it. Get it. I'm gonna keep her in 435 bits. That's a keeper. Now I'm gonna go in, before I set this, I wanna do all my liquid products, my cream products. I'm gonna go in with the Danessa Myricks uh, Bomb Contour. You can't really see that, it's kinda dark. This is their Bomb Contour in the color Deep One. I've tried this before and honestly, I'm not sure what I feel about it. It's a black owned brand. So obviously I wanna like it and support it and I just think it's a bit too, I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna go in with her. And the girl Sephora says like she loves this, it's in her kit, but I'm returning this. I know y'all think I'm so anti-black cause I will not put your favorite brands on for free anymore and now I don't like this. I thought I don't like it. I just don't think I really have a space for it in my collection. And for my, my, my skill level, like I'm no guru. Yeah, it's just not for me. It's not bad, but it's just not for me, unfortunately. Now I'm gonna go in to set my concealer with the little baby, y'all. I said in my video, this was $20. $20. This is $25. Like Charlotte, why? Charlotte, why? This is in the color tan. Um, but I don't need a big one. Like, the big one, I would never go th get through it. Like, I barely, barely wear makeup. So I don't even need the big one. But this is ridiculous. This is so tiny. But it's so good, y'all. Like, when you put this on, it just makes my skin look... What's the word? Velvety, you know? Like, just straight, like, straight velvet. Like, just airbrushed, you know? Like, face to and filter. <laughs> Such a, like, <sighs> love this. Obviously, this ain't going back. I just love, I just love this. I just love this. So I'm keeping it. So y'all know I love, I don't know why it looks so dirty, but y'all know I love the Dior Powder No Powder. I mentioned it in my favorites of January and February. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury in the color Deep. So the exact same thing, just in the darker color. So tiny thing, again, $25. Does that just not look so good to y'all? Like, is that not a vibe? 
it's a vibe. I'm keeping these like, I just love it. Now I'm going to set my bronzer, my contour, cause to me it's a contour, with the Makeup Revolution. So this is not even a Sephora product. It's a $10 Ulta product, but I love it. And thanks to Tara Brown for putting the girls on, I just think it's really good. Sometimes you don't gotta pay a lot. You know, I made an argument about buying this $30 concealer, but this $10 bronzer is just life. It's life, y'all. I forgot I have this cream blush that I wanted to use for Merit. I have already set my face, but we're gonna still go through and use it. Mm. I look real this looks real real caucasian this is in the color beverly hills let me test this color again okay this is the color beverly hills i'm just gonna swipe it on the apples of my cheeks mm. okay i'm just gonna pat it in you can't see that <laughs> So, I can't speak for the other colors. Let me put a little bit more. I just think it's really sheer, but I know Merit Beauty is for the girlies, I'll put some right here, who don't really wear makeup, but want like, you know, natural makeup. But, I mean, there's natural and then there's non-existent here. I did not buy this. This was sent to me by Merit. Everything else I purchased with my own money. But these Merit products were sent to me in PR. And I've had them for a month. And I thought, today is the day. I mean, you can see it. But you can't really see it. Would I purchase this with my own money? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, if I'm going to buy something, I need it to show up. Maybe on a day that I'm not wearing like a you know, full coverage foundation or whatever. Maybe I'll like it more. Who knows? Now let me do my eyebrows. Um, my eyebrows have not been done. I've just been naturally blessed to have great eyebrows. Lies. It was all a lie. I got microblading like a year ago and it's still holding up. So it's supposed to last a year to three years and it's only quite all right. So I'm going to use their brow product. This is the Merit Beauty Brow 1980. It's a volumizing pomade, but it's dark. Um, okay, never mind. I don't know. I'm confused. It looks really dark, but it's okay. It's dark. I don't think it's as good as my Kosas one. This Kosas is big. Like the one from Kosas. This one, this one, the one from Kosas. This is bomb. This is big. I also love the one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is just okay. I'm trying to take my foundation brush and just cover it. So that's a little tip. That's from Jackie Aina. If your eyebrows ever look kind of crazy, just go over it with your foundation brush. And it just helps to like make it look less crazy, which is what it did. Just comb this out. Don't love it. That's a fail. If I bought that, it was going back. And I don't like the brush applicator either. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm going to go in with the one size until dawn mattifying spray. I love the one from Charlotte Tilbury. That is my favorite one. I've been playing with the one from Urban Decay. It's cool, I like it. I think I like Charlotte Bay a little bit more, but I wanted to try this one from Patrick Star because you know, Patrick is all about the mattification. So this is what I'm looking like before. Some fragrance to it. Saw some complaints about the fragrance. Ooh, oh, it's burning my nose hair. 
Oh no, Patrick, boo boo. Oh, Patrick, no. Yeah, this, see my eyes are red. <laughs> this needs to be fragrance free. I love the one size powder. And I also picked up the concealer. Um, I didn't use it today because I used two concealers. I didn't want to use three. But I have this to try out because I love the powder. It's like the perfect powder foundation. But, oh no, baby. Oh, Patrick, no. I don't think I'm going to keep this. Um, the scent is too much. I don't really think it did any mattifying to the face. I don't think my face looks any more matte than before. I feel like I actually introduced some like doing this to my face. So, yeah, I'm going to take her back. I'm gonna try another product from Merit. This is their Day Glow Highlighting Balm. So that's what that looks like. I'm not sure if you can see that. And I'm just going, that's what, I'm gonna just put it on my nose. And these products are sheer, baby. I'm so used to a sickening highlight. This is definitely like vacation makeup where like you don't want to really wear much makeup. I do have their like foundation and stuff, their complexion products. But I wanted to try the ones from Lancome. Yeah, that like, yeah. I don't know, baby. These are definitely more subtle for women that don't want to wear makeup. My thing is, if you don't wear makeup, it's not like I do too much compared to some other people. I wear kind of lighter makeup than others, but this makeup is so light, it's almost like you're not wearing makeup. And at this point, why are you paying $30 for shit you can't see? <laughs> like, can you? All right. All right. All right. I don't like, no. I'm gonna try these again, but no. I mean, it's makeup. You already know from the first use, usually, whether you like it or not. Like, I'm not about to inspect your gadget, no makeup. So I'm gonna go in with um, the Makeup Revolution um, highlighter that I got. I put in a haul like last year, back in November. And I've been using this and loving this. Like, like, I need Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Highlight, okay? I need people to know a bitch put on highlight. I need it to be so sickening. You like, damn bitch, you put on highlight. You like highlights. Like, yes, I do. You know? Like, I need it to be sickening. Like that. <laughs> and then, I go over with my powder brush to tame her. Whew. Like, just give it to me. Why are you gagging so? I give it to you every bowl. If you haven't been watching Ruth Paul's Drag Race, get your life. Such a good time. So that's, so we did that, blah, blah, blah. I got this mascara from the sale, from the, the girl loves it. The girl, the sales girl at Sephora. I didn't like it. This is their real magnet. I felt like it clumped my, my lashes. And my lashes are already a struggle. I'm going to return this as well. I I wasn't a fan of it. I did not like it. So I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Colossal. So I'm giving y'all high end. I'm giving y'all drugstore. I'm giving the girls options. I used to love this back in the day. I don't know. You have tips and tricks to not make your mascara get everywhere. Like, can y'all let, let me know? So now it's just time for lips. And the two lipsticks I have are both from Frenzy Beauty. It's from their Heat uh, collection. I have the colors Hot Chocolate and Hot Cherry. So I think who was I watching that was wearing Hot Cherry? I think it was um, Jasmine Ardell, I believe. Um, but I just think her lips are pretty. Like she just has a natural pretty lip. So all the colors are looking good on her. So we have Hot Cherry right here, and we have cho Chocolat. They're actually a lot more sheer than I thought. Let's try Chocolat first, 
Cause we're gonna see we're gonna keep them. Oh, okay. This is my type of color. Oh, it does a little heat. It does have a little tangle to it, but it doesn't burn. This is my type of nude. This is my color. Like, all y'all see me wearing videos are nudes, like, because I'm lazy. Like, I can just throw on a lip gloss. I don't have to line. I don't have to make sure it's perfect. This is really nice. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, that shit look good. That look good, friend. That look good, friend. Ooh. Yes. Keeping both of them. And I'm going to use them. Because I actually wear my lip glosses. Oh, that's, oh, that's so pretty. All right, y'all. This is the end result. I just had to throw a wig on. Just to, you know, give y'all a little something. Um, if I'm pretty sure I have a video on this wig already. If you haven't seen it, you can definitely check it out for the details. But yes. Um, my base looks pretty pretty good it's comparable to what I want I honestly loved everything I think my makeup just looks so natural but beautiful um the things that I don't love I don't love my eyebrows I don't love that pomade situation I didn't love the blush I feel like even now you can't really see it didn't love the blush didn't love the highlighter I didn't love this mascara which you didn't get to see but trust me it's a clumpy mess the Patrick Star, the fragrance is too much. It's just too much. So that's also a no for me, unfortunately. The Vanessa Myricks, a no for me just on the way that I do my makeup. Not that, not that there's anything wrong with it. And then this concealer is basically my complexion and I don't need any more complexion concealers. So I'm gonna return these to Sephora and I'm not gonna pick anything else up. <laughs> I'm just gonna return these and get my ass out of there. See you later.